Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Monday the 20th of January. The local media headlines today. They're still going on about it. Dogs on beaches. Plans to relax the rules have been rejected, but that's not the end of the story. Cornwall Council's Neighbourhoods Committee voted 9-4 to four against shortening the period when a ban is in place, but the final decision rests with Cabinet member Rob Nolan. Good luck with that one, Rob. The council's practice of lending millions of pounds to other councils while simultaneously borrowing a similar sum from yet more councils also caught the eye. When the fun stops, stop. This Thursday sees the 81st anniversary of the St Ives lifeboat disaster. All but one of the crew died. And Cornwall reports returned to the subject of a tourism tax. Cornwall appears to be divided over its response. Full marks to the Falmouth Packet for investigating the plight of vulnerable residents left in limbo while County Hall investigates their mental capacity. More than a thousand have had to wait more than a year while their carers wait for applications to be determined. The BBC had an update on the continuing inquest into the death of Falmouth's Mark Cole, who died after police shot him three times with a taser. The Cornish Times promoted a charity which is raising money for Australian wildlife after the bushfires. And finally, Cornwall Live had something about people who are planning to have sex with strangers but probably haven't. At least not yet. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.